Yes, Miss Fine confused my suitcase with one containing Cece's dog Chester, got locked in the closet of a 747, and, well, suffice it to say, we're here. <laughs> Which I must admit is not entirely unpleasant. Make your knees alone, For God's sakes, I'm in Paris with a beautiful woman. Uh. Come on, let's blow this nightclub and see where life takes us. <laughs> Apparently, French wine has a very low alcohol content because life took us right back to the airport. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell was that? Oh, just a little bump in the road. Would we hit a deer? We're in the air. <laughs> You have to picture yourself going along a little country lane with a few dips and potholes. Oh! What the bloody hell was that? Oh, Mr. Jeffield. Mr. Jeffield, I just want you to know that these last three years have been just the best years of my life. Ow! Oh. I love you. Well, thank God it was just a little bump in the road. And after three long years of working it, I mean, working there, I had finally gotten him to say it. Um, that's fine. Be before we go in, I think I should try to explain to you exactly what happened out there. Oh, it's okay. It was all that wine and escargot. These weren't good shoes anyway. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, no, uh, you, you know how it is when you're, when you're facing death, how you sometimes say things without thinking? No. <laughs> ah. It's fine, I thought we were spending our last moments on Earth together up there, and so that's why I, um, <clears throat> you know, said the thing. <laughs> the thing? Yeah, you know, that, that I felt that way at that time in that place. <laughs> Oh, my God, you're taking back the thing? Please, Miss Fine, I mean, in the heat of the moment, sometimes people just blurt things out. You blurt it prematurely? Are you, are you very upset? No, no, I'll be fine. It's perfectly understandable. Please don't touch me. She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens Till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door She was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more She had style, she had flair, she was there That's how she became the nanny Who would have guessed that the girl we described Was just exactly what the doctor prescribed Now the father finds her beguiling Watch out, CC Smiling, what is it? She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran. Thanks, Fran. What a beautiful doll. I know. You know, she's Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Oh, and look at here. This is that restaurant that your father promised to take me to, but then he changed his mind and took it back, which he oft does. I had made reservations, but the thing was, she... There's that thing again. <laughs> Fran, I have a report due for school. I'm supposed to pick a woman with an interesting career. Oh, Gracie. I don't know if there's enough to write a whole report about me. There isn't. That's why I picked Miss Babcock. <laughs> Nanny Fine, don't be hurt just because I'm closer to little Gretel than you are. <laughs> Gretel never said that. Aren't we defensive? There's nothing wrong with being just a pretty face. In fact, it's a plus if you have no skills. <laughs> I've gone.